Hi, I'm John Gill and I'm about to explain a method which one can use to see if a number is a prime and to generate prime numbers. The equation I use is this. Ni plus 1 equals cosine squared pi over 2 Ni multiplied by Ni over 2 plus sine squared pi over 2 Ni multiplied by Ni plus b over 2. We can simplify this equation with the terms cosine squared and sine squared, but with n1 equals to, to 1, i equals i plus 1, z equals z plus 1. If ni plus 1 equals 1 and z equals b, b is a prime number. It could also be a pseudo prime number. Later, we'll see how to sort out the, the pseudo prime numbers. Here is the code I used. As you can see, the equation is the same as the, the one we previously um, saw. Here is the table with the prime numbers uh, from 3 to 9,973. Um, so all the numbers are primes, but there are also pseudo primes. The pseudo primes are listed on this table. Uh, we have, for example, 341, 561, and um, the last number is 8,911. For the pseudo prime numbers, I chose four numbers. For example, 341 equals x squared minus y squared. Uh, as you can see, there are four. Um, for results for to solve the equation over the in integers. Um, the same happens with uh, 561 with uh, 1387. Um, in this table, uh, I picked four prime numbers. And as you can see with prime numbers, uh, this is what happens to them. So, for, for every prime number, we have only two solutions. Um, this way we can calculate, we can assure that the number is prime. Uh, so the list I previous, previously uh, showed, um, we can sort out the pseudo prime numbers and we will have only prime numbers. Uh, I chose um, to to use this um, this algorithm uh, from one to uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, but it, it works for all the numbers.